Mount Tetrazi School located in Sankwal, Goa today achieved another milestone by inaugurating the Atal Tinkering Lab in their premises on Wednesday. This lab is Marmugao's first and seventh one in Goa and the same was inaugurated with the hands of Mirza Zavid Beg, Director NCOR, in presence of CEO Z Learn Limited Ritesh Handa, Principal Sandhya Venkatesh, former Kartalim Amele, Alina Saldana and others. This lab facility has been allotted to Mount Tetra Z School after careful scrutiny across multiple applications across India. The world produces over 327 tons of, uh, million tons of plastic every year. The motion of plastic and that is a hindrance to the aquatic life. The solution we are giving over here is a bubble bath, a smart solution to plastic pollution. Let's see how this actually works. Uh, this is our ATL lab of our uh, Mount Literas in school. And we have almost all the sensors for students to work on. Uh, we have um, Arduino programming as well. Uh, we have our 3D printer. Uh, right now it is already printing a small little ship. It will take around one hour for it to get completed. Uh, other than that, we have a drone, a telescope. We have our entire mechanical department set up over here with uh, various tools and the electronic department set up over here with our various tools. Uh, this will be the practical section and on the other side we have a lecture section as well. So this is a fully set up ATL lab. To work on, it will be much easier for them to program and to uh, work on and they can understand this much easier because it is all made out of Legos. And there's already a battery for it, so you just have to connect it and then we can uh, work on it. This is a, tra this is a very basic program. Uh, this is a traffic control, the red, yellow and green lights. So yeah. you can always start with this for students to work on. And once they learn these small little programmings from there, they are going to do, uh, well, upgrade. Have the bigger the one, traffic yes. lights. Yes. They can always upgrade. So once they learn small little things, then they can come up with more different applications. Thank you for being here today. Today is a very, very special day for us where we inaugurate our very special Atal Tinkering Lab which is going to help uh, our students to go absolutely to the next level in the field of science and technology. 
this lab will facilitate our students to work on drones, launch rockets, and 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 the next level of uh, science and technology, which our school will now be providing uh, these our students uh, who have been um, patiently waiting for this. Uh, speaking about the Mount Etona Z School Goa, our school is an absolute top school which has about 12-1300 students currently and we aim to get to 1800 to 2000 students in this upcoming academic year. Our results and academics have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we scored, we are scoring 98-99% uh, our, our toppers are 98-99%. to We have 145 Mount Etona Z schools uh, in the country and uh, while we are not the first school to host uh, this Artel Tinkling Lab, but we are the first school on many camps, and I'll just explain it to you. We are the, the we are now hosting and inaugurating the Atal Tinkling Lab today. We are now being rated and being awarded as India's most trusted brand. So Mount Etona Z School is now the India's most trusted brand, and also as you would already know that we've also won a Guinness record of uh, launching rockets and and uh, for classes six to nine. So we have now three such jewels in our crown now. Uh, the most trusted brand, the Atal Tinkling Lab, as well as the Guinness uh, record. I don't know how many schools in Goa have uh, all these three uh, in, the, in, their, in their jewel, but currently with all these three jewels, we are certainly going to become the Kohino school of Goa, if not the country. dream which I was seeing for last six years, it has come true. And this lab will help my kids to learn how to make drones, how to make robots, STEM. This will add to their learning ability. This is the most wanted thing. And if we also say skill education. So this is how we are going to develop their skill. And sky is the limit now for Mount Litter. In fact, this kind of uh, facility is absolutely important for the development of the children, for the development of young minds, where they don't have to fear that if anything goes wrong, then what will happen? So there they get the hands-on experience of doing things, fiddling with ideas, doing things on their own without the worry that things can go wrong. And that's the spirit of science. That's how the science happens. If you always fear for something going wrong, then you will never test the idea or the hypothesis. You will never venture into that. So that's a great initiative by Government of India. It's a wonderful initiative that such grants are being given to schools and those schools are fortunate and of course the deserving schools like Mount Litra, it's a deserving school, they have proven in other fields that they are competent, they can host such a laboratory and it's great that they have received this laboratory and it's an excellent laboratory developed in a very short span of time and I hope that this will flourish, the schools will get benefited with that and it will be sustained also because sustenance in, in all the government uh, mechanisms and all that, getting a grant one time is always easy, but sustaining it over the years and maintaining it, that's ch a challenge. And I hope that Mount Litra would be able to do that and students will benefit from that. Thank you. Uh, I feel privileged and very happy to be part of this inaugural function of the Atal uh, Tinkering Lab, which is great infrastructure for the learning of, of science for the students. I think this infrastructure is going to promote, you know, doing by doing and as a result of which curiosity is increased and people, the students will want to do it in their own ways, find out new ways of doing things. Yes, I think this is a beautiful infrastructure and uh, my earnest request is that this kind of infrastructure should be made available at all educational institutions because, as I said before, we don't know from which school a scientist may be born through the infrastructure that is provided by the school. And uh, I'm sure the government will take this into account and very soon this beautiful infrastructure may, will be made available at most schools. Back, uh, the journey started with five students and today when I see this premise, I, every time I get emotional, when I see those children, I get emotional and I am really blessed, I am really happy and uh, I know over them to see our kids getting such nice infrastructure, such nice facilities. And Little Flas Kidzi, we are now seven branches, as you know, and maybe feeder for this MLZ is, and it's still the first choice for the parents of three primary school uh, children across Goa. And yeah.